What's going on YouTube? So with today's video, these are 10 fragrances that I will never stop recommending designer editions. For all you designer heads, this is a list that might come across as a little bit predictable. This video was initially supposed to go out, but the niche one will instead because of how it turned out like in the intro. All right, so let's just get into it. This list will be a little predictable. So if you're familiar with this channel, yeah, so you already know what fragrances are coming up. So, but fragrance number one, most certainly had to make the list because this is Ferrari's Bright Neroli. This one, <laughs> I was the initial hype man for this and then everybody just kind of got on the bandwagon. It's not, it wasn't overly hyped, but it really became more of a well-loved, well-received fragrance from some of the other guys who started talking about it. But what you're gonna get, you're gonna get, you're gonna get bright citruses, iris, neroli, bitter orange, citron, orange blossom, vetiver, rosemary, and I believe that there is some musk to this one here. What I get is that I just get a creamy neroli, bright effervescent citrus. Uh, I do get a little bit of an herbaceous touch with the rosemary and a like a, a slight powdery undertone as well with a musky dry down. This stuff is just sensational. I don't pump it like I once did. It's not one of my most loved fragrances from the brand. There are other options out there, but this one really just had to make the list because if you're into fresh, clean, easy to wear, mass appealing scents, you can't go wrong with this. And this is also very economical. This is, like $40 or less, Canadian. So that's like $30 USD. Maybe compliment getter fragrance. I'm, I don't get compliments, so I can't say, but for some of the younger guys out there, some of the younger guys are, that are better looking, I'm a ravishing middle-aged ball-headed bastard, but you know, I'm settled down, so I'm not looking for compliments. But if you're a young single guy who wants, this might get you a few compliments. Fragrance number two, let's stick with the brand of Ferrari. This is gonna be Radiant Bergamot. This one was once known as the unicorn of the Ferrari community. So just because it was just so hard to come by, then all of a sudden, bam, all these online discounters got them. So this is just a lot of rosemary, nutmeg, ginger, bergamot. There's some woods and some musk to it as well. This is sensational. This is the more grown-up version than this. This this is easy to wear. This is ageless, okay? But this just comes across as a little bit more adult-oriented, yet a younger person can wear it with ease. Like someone in their 20s, no problemo. But I just find because of like the spicy, the spiciness to it and the herbaceous touch, it's a little bit more grown. I don't want to say it's classical because it's not, but it does have some vintage vibe with a modern touch to it. Dress this one down to dressing it up. This is more of a suit and tie type of fragrance when it comes to this one here. So I, I did say daytime semi-formal event. This is more of a daytime type of scent, but that's slightly a little bit more classy than just like your regular black tie event. This is not a tuxedo scent. The next fragrance is. This is spring and summertime longevity, seven to eight hours. I did state that the next fragrance is more of a tuxedo scent, and let's stick with the brand of Ferrari once again, and this is gonna be Leather Essence. This is more of a fall and winter fragrance, and this stuff is just fantastic. This is very masculine, it's spicy, it's, I don't wanna say overly leathery, because it's not. So the leather in this, I think it's more of a suede. It's, it's overshadowed by the cloves, the cinnamon. You're also gonna get some tonkamine, some vanilla, and some woods. They should have just named this one <laughs> Ferrari Essence Cloves or Spices because it's just, the leather in this is nice, but it's not a rough and tough type of leather. It's smooth, it's more of a suede-like type of leather. And again, it's just, it's overshadowed by the cloves. Yet it's such an amazing scent. And unfortunately, this one is becoming a little bit harder to find. I will always recommend this one though. I will never stop recommending this one. This is more of a grown up type of scent. It's more mature than the previous two Ferraris. And this is fall and winter, if I haven't stated, which I probably already did. But this is very masculine. Dressing it down to dressing it up to like a black tie tuxedo event. Also, if you're a bit of a bad boy, you could wear this as well, leather jacket and a black t-shirt. Not a white t-shirt as I think the juice itself, which is very dark, will stain a white tee. So if you haven't looked into this one, please do so before it's all gone. So Ferrari Leather Essence. We are officially done with the brand of Ferrari, but this one here, <laughs> I have 
plugged a lot, like four, even five years ago. And this is what kind of kicked off my love for this brand. Ferragamo's F Black. This, <laughs> I was the initial hype man for this scent. I, I don't plug it like I used to. I still enjoy it. I just don't love it like I once did. But it's a scent that I, I have to keep recommending because of the price tag, the longevity, the versatility, the scent itself. You're gonna get green apple, lavender, black pepper, coriander, and tonka bean. This, however, could be a little overpowering in the opening. So I would say that no more than three sprays. Two, three sprays, and you're golden. Fall and winter versatility is amazing. Someone said that this is the, the wolf of Wall Street. That person is Jeremy. Um, I don't know if I would say that. This is definitely one fragrance that I will never stop recommending. And like price tag, super economical. It's like $30 or less. The next two fragrances were actually gifts from my friend Rush, my sidekick. So, Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Cologne. So, Guerlain, not Guerlain. I'm sorry for being a French Canadian redneck, okay? I know that a lot of you guys, that, that's not how you pronounce it. I was like, okay, well, whatever. I pronounce it the way that I was raised, for Christ's sake, all right? Fuck, a lot of you guys who take this feminine hobby too seriously. Relax, grow some testosterone. I got man boobies that produce more testosterone than some of the guys who take this, this hobby way too, too seriously. Fuck, oh, my God. With this one here, there's different citruses, musk, almond, neroli, and vetiver. This is a creamy, delicious, not gourmandy kind of scent. I find that like with like almond or any nut accords, it kind of goes along the routes of gourmand for me because nuts are, are, um, are food. But this is just creamy. It's nutty. You do get the freshness. You you get the nutty accord. You get the neroli. You're gonna get the vetiver and the dry down. This is such an amazing, relaxing kind of fragrance. I would say it's more casual, but you could wear this to a daytime semi-formal event. Nothing too serious, but you know, just like Ferrari Bright Neroli, you could wear it to like a suit and tie daytime event with ease. You could wear it to work, you could wear it to school. So someone who's in college, university could wear it with ease. Longevity off this. For you summertime freshie is amazing. Nine to 10 hours. Fragrance number six was a gift from Rush once again. And oh boy, this kind of got me on the Guerlain train a little bit. I'm, I'm s slowly commuting on the Guerlain train, but wow. Guerlain L'Homme Le Boisé EDT. This is just fantastic. This is lime, vetiver, woods, musk, mint, and rum. So like a bougie accord. You get the bright lime. You're gonna get the vetiver. You're gonna get a slight booziness to this one, including the woods. It's, it really is just a sensational scent. Anything that this brand produces, even if you don't like it, you gotta admit that they put out quality fragrances. Not everything that this brand puts out resonates with my nose, but there is quality behind it. This is more of a mature gentleman's type of scent. I'm thinking that someone who's 35 or 40 might appreciate this one a little bit more than someone who's younger and or someone who's in their 20s. This is a dressing down to dressing up scent. Daytime, nighttime, casual, tuxedo, and this is inexpensive. This is like 50 bucks Canadian, 60 tops. So that's like 40 to $50 USD, and which is amazing value. Longevity, nine to 10 hours, which is an amazing for a fresh woody scent, and it's Guerlain. I just had to irritate you guys. Fragrance number seven, this one does bring back a lot of memories, and it's been around for over 25 years. Actually, I think it's 25 years this year itself. But Azaro's Chrome. So this is just a little tester bottle because you can see the, the sticker back there. And this is just like a little 30, 30 ml. But yeah, man, this this really does have that 90s vibe. But I grew up in the 90s. I, I, I'm born in 1977. So if you're from the 90s, like, or just like my generation, this will definitely resonate with you. You may not like it anymore, but it will certainly bring back some scent memories. It has that 90s vibe, but man, I just, I remember it was, I was different time, right? Before social media just killed off society 
the, the golden age of hip hop, you know, had great shows like Saved by the Bell, Family Matters, Full House, yeah, you know, I was in high school when this came out, so, so what you're gonna get, you're gonna get citruses, neroli, oak moss, musk, woods, and so on. This does remind me of my father. My, my dad used to wear this when it first came out, but my dad now wears like Bleu de Chanel and uh, yeah, Tom Ford Sol Depositano. He's got bougie taste now. He was once a simple kind of man. Still is, but he just, he's kind of like me. He likes a, a good bougie kind of fragrance. But yeah, this is more of a spring, summer type of scent. Casual to daytime semi-formal event. I, there's nothing really else to add because this one is so familiar with so many people, but this is one that I will never stop recommending. And longevity is seven to eight hours. Fragrance number eight, this brand is pretty much plugged by me and me alone. When it comes to the West, there may be a few more guys out in Europe, but when it comes to the North American guys, not many guys have really talked about it, except for maybe Ashen from the channel Jensen's. But this one here is going to be Trusardi Riflesso Blue Vibe. So I probably mispronounced that. I know that some of the Italian guys out there, they get pissed off with, with my pronunciation of Riflesso. So uh, sorry if I'm wrong, you know, but oh man, this stuff is so good. Rum, yuzu, hazelnut, amberwood, leather, and tobacco. I don't remember tobacco being in that list. What I get, amberwood, hazelnut, booze, rum, but also that yuzu. This is just warm, it's delicious, it's boozy. There's some sex appeal to this one here. A younger man in their 20s could pull this one off with ease, but with some of the notes like the amberwood and the, the rum, the hazelnut, like the hazelnut is what adds that youthful touch, but like the amberwood and the rum, the boozy accord kind of add that mature vibe to it. This is a great dressing, it's, it's an all around great versatile fragrance. So something like this to something that's black tie, not a tuxedo, but black tie daytime or nighttime. I think that the lady is gonna like this one on you because there is some sex appeal to it. My wife does like this one quite a bit. It's more of a fall and a winter type of scent and longevity is seven to nine hours. Fragrance number nine, this one did not work for me in the beginning, but now I love it. This is gonna be Dolce & Gabbana Intenso. So this is one that I will never stop plugging and recommending. So this one, I ended up getting this bottle back in November or December and whew, like when I first smelled it, I did it, I did a video for Daver, Fragrance Bros, and I, I did not like this one. I didn't like the lavender and the, and the tobacco combination, but now I do. Throw in some herbaceous notes of clary sage basil. You're also gonna throw in some sandalwood and some musk and bam. This is a fougere kind of fragrance and I'm not sure if it's classified that, but it probably is. But this smells a little bit more mature. So I think that someone who's 40 and up might appreciate this one a little bit more. You could dress it like this to a tuxedo event. It really is an all around classy, versatile, signature scent worthy scent. And this is quite economical. This is like $50 Canadian or under. I got this bottle for like $35 Canadian. Amazing bang for your buck. Fall and winter, I do think that you can wear it in the transition from winter to spring when it's still a little bit colder out and it becomes a little bit warmer, but not in the summertime. Longevity was seven to nine hours. And the last one in this list, this is just another 90s fragrance that I will continue plugging. Some people will say go with the intense version, but for me, the original is the best. Hugo Boss bottle. So it came out in 1998, was a classic then, and it is a classic now. This does not smell dated at all. You're gonna get plum, cinnamon, green, Granny Smith apple, or just green apple. You're gonna throw in some woods in there, and vanilla if I haven't said. This is just a classic. Plain and simple. This does smell quite similar to a lot of people, just like this one here. So it is very popular. So if you don't want to smell like, if you, if you don't want to possibly smell like somebody else, then avoid this one. I myself, I don't care. If I smell like two, three other guys in the room, I personally don't care. I'm not one of those guys. But this is dressing down to dressing up. Daytime. Nighttime, signature scent worthy for a lot of men to this very day. Longevity, seven to eight hours. Fall and springtime.
So guys, that is 10 fragrances I will never stop recommending designer edition. So any reviews that I've done, as usual, they will be in the description below. If you want to check out some other great lists of, or some other great videos of whatever, because this is completely random, I'm needing a break because I've been recording for the last hour straight, then just check out these sides here. If you like this very video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share the video, subscribe. If you're new to this channel, I thank you for your time, take care, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching, everyone.